Hello, second year. Yes, okay. Remember today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's Monday, the 6th of October, November, November of April. Yes, okay, and it's cloudy. Second year, we are going to check the pages from the activity book. Hasta aquí tiene que estar todo hecho. 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? And remember, you have uh, the writing, yes, of the description. Hasta las 7 de la tarde, hoy era. Okay? 19 horas. Okay? Good. Y los que ya fuimos corrigiendo, ya fuimos devolviendo. Okay? Good. Well, so pay attention. Attendance, remember to put here. Veo muy poco here en el tablón de el Google Classroom, eh? En los mensajes. Ahí me tienen que poner here. Constanza, Catalina, Agustín, Luana, Lucas, Lucila, Sabrina, Agustín, Pilar, yes, el otro Agustín Ramírez, yes, ok, Pilar, Renata y Santi, ok, good, so can we check the activity book please, ok, remember to put a tick or a cross, yes, yes teacher, ok, page 12, page 12, are you there, ok, Number one, red, yes, yellow. Number two, white, black, three, yellow, black, four, blue and yellow, okay? Number two, yes, and you have to say uh, the colors of our flag, yes? Sky blue, white, sky blue with the sun, a yellow sun in the middle, all right? One, three, 19, Two, seven, four, seven, three, fifteen, four, five, five, nineteen, seventy six, six, twenty four, seven, twenty seven, and eight, three. Okay? Number four. Yes? True, false, false, four, true, five, true. Six false, seven false, eight true. Okay, exercise five take off. Yes, take off to leave the ground in a plane. Despegar, take off. Yes, okay. Hostel on foot, cheap, expensive, and double. Yes, a room for two people is a double room, and a room for one is a single room. Yes. When you uh, book, yes, a room in a hotel, you can ask for a single room, for a double room. Yes, it's a book, a table in a restaurant, book, yes, in a hotel, a room. And I want you to highlight, to circle, yes, all right, this, in number five, because this is vocabulary, okay, in the activity, okay, good. Number six. Yes, are you there? In number six, are, is, three aren't, four is, five isn't, six are, seven is, eight is. Okay, exercise seven. Are you there? On, two, next to, three, the right, four, left, five, above, six, under. Remember when you use a la derecha, a la izquierda, on the right, on the left. Okay, number eight, are you there? Yes, the furniture, furniture, chair, two, rack, three, blind, yes, number three is blind, las persianitas, yes, okay, number four, computer, sofa, curtain, and seven, desk, which is the mystery world, cupboards, yes, okay, highlight the words there, please, page 14, Page 14, okay, hat, first aid kit, three torch, four camera, five gloves, seven map, six map, seven mobile phone, eight rucksack, remember la mochila de, de viaje, yeah? Nine boots and ten shoes. I want you to highlight the vocabulary. Muy bien, vi en una foto que me mandó Sabrina, eh, mándenme fotos haciendo sus tareas y viendo los videos que me mandó Sabrina y muy bien ubicado todo, el Classbook, el Book y vi así, yes, 
el highlighter, pen y todo very ordered. Muy ordenado todo ya. Lo que siempre la teacher pide, ¿eh? Muy orgullosa la teacher porque se están reenganchando y lo mejor que no nos perdemos clase, no nos atrasamos, o sea que valió la pena el esfuerzo de conectarnos, de ponernos todo en el Google Classroom. Genial, perfecta esa foto, me encanta porque miro con mucha atención yo, ¿eh? Y ahí estaba el highlighter, very good. Ok, well, uh, number two, are you there? You have the reading part. Ok, number one, hat. Number two, first aid kit. Yes, el kit de primeros auxilios. Number three, map, four shoes. Number five, boots. Number three, one, mobile phones. Two, people. Three, boxes. Four, torches. Notice the plural, torch, torches, with ES. Knife. Ends, ends with F and knives, B, B, E, S, okay? The regular form, the plurals, okay? Cities, cameras, man, men, person, people, okay? Nine keys, okay? And then we have 15, are you there in 15? Yes, okay, exercise three, yes, exercise four, you didn't have to do, but are the S's, yes? The plurals with S and ES. Yes, I will say for you to know. Boots, hats, maps with S, Z, keys, knives, mobile phones, E, set, boxes, cities, compasses. Number five, those gloves, that, rucksack, these, keys, this, map. Okay, exercise six. Well, six, okay, are you there? Raksa, maps, first aid kit, torches, compass, gloves, hat, and boots. Okay, that's all as regard correction of the activity book. Okay, so I want you to go very quickly to the pages we are going to work in class. I want you to put the dates, yes, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Are you there? From the classroom. Remember, the date must be written in all the pages we are working. Repeat. I repeat. 26, 27, 28, and 29. Are you there? All right. Remember that I will um, say the answers, but at home, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and listen to the answers. Okay? I always repeat this. Yes? And remember, I want the same rhythm... Yes, I want you to have the same rhythm at home. Yes, don't do the video, play the video, stop it, drink something, go to bed, sleep a minute. Try to uh, maintain, to keep the same rhythm we have in class at home, okay? Two minutes for doing the, the activity, listen to the answers, go to the next one because I want you to have the same rhythm when you come back, all right? Is it clear? Okay. So, in number one, yes, okay, objects, yes, okay, and we have to look at the photo of, uh, of the mini on page 27, this is a mini Cooper, yes, okay, it's a car, and is this car famous in your country, is it cheap, is it expensive, yes, what are the popular cars, yes, a BMW, what are other popular cars, a Peugeot, Yes, a Ferrari, what are popular cars? Yes, in your country, a Renault, yes, Peugeot. What other popular countries are there? Yes, have you ever seen a Mini Cooper? Is it cheap or expensive? I think it's expensive, yes, okay. Good, so think golf, think about which are popular cars here in our country, okay? Are you there? So, uh, do you like cars? Yes or no? Have you got a car? Do your parents have a car? Yes? So remember, have you got a car or do you have a car? Yes? Mistakes. Yes? Okay? So, pay attention. I want you to go to number one, number two. Yes? Circle, please. Number one, number two, number four. I want you to circle or highlight 
Yes, I want you to highlight this chant, suffixes, the speaking part, and the vocabulary there. Is it clear? Okay, in 26 and 27. All right, good, there we are. Okay, are you there? Uh, you have to read the article about the meaning and choose the correct answer A to C for each question from one to three. Yes, are you there? So um, you have the mini Cooper there and you have the bonnet, repetition, the roof, the mirror, the seats, the windows, the wheels, the engine, the front, the front and back bumper. Yes, okay. And then there you have factory, the pronunciation where the company produces the object. Yeah. Headquarters, main office. Yes, it's the main office of the company. Yes, okay. Good. Then you have the mini was a British car until, and you have the date there. You have to read it. Yes, the BMW. Yes. A German company. Okay. And it says, uh, are you there? Yes. And it says it's a global product. Why is it a global product? Yes, because it has the headquarters, the company, yes, is in one place. But then it has parts, the car has parts from many places. So that is what it makes, what makes, that what make, that is what makes this car a global, global product. Yes? Do you understand? Because it said the Mini was a British car, yes? But now BMW, a German company, yes? Did you know that BMW, BMW was a German company? Well, if you didn't know, now you know, yes? Is the producer of the Mini, but the car factory for the Mini is still in Oxford, England, yes? So the factory is in England, but then, yes, the parts, are from many countries in Europe and North America. Yes, so where is it from? It's a global product. Yes, because the company is there, but it has many part, many parts from many other places. Okay, that is what makes a product from uh, makes a product a global product. Okay, well, good. Then you have the suffixes, and I don't know if last class I have already explain yes but you have there yes okay so you have Poland is a place yes and Polako is Polish with the engine these are suffixes yes okay you form another word yes acto the actress yes act is a verb yes you know act is a verb and from this verb you can form Actor and actress, yes, and it becomes another word, yes, from a verb, it becomes a noun, un sustantivo, yes, okay, is it clear? So you have, your examples there are Poly, Poland, Polish, Australia, Australian, yes, okay, and there are some nationalities that are irregular, France, French, okay, is it clear? And the ones you have there. Is it clear? These are suffixes, los sufijos. Okay? Good. And then you have to do number four. Do number four and we check. Yes? Tell me when you are ready. Okay? Number four, number four. Ready? Number one. Britain. Yes, British. Yes, number two, German. Yes, okay, are you there? 
Number three, Australian. Number four is irregular, the Netherlands. Yeah, los Países Bajos. Five, Canadian. Six, Italian. Seven, Belgium. Yes, are you there in seven? Yes. Eight, England. Nine, Spanish. Ten, France. And eleven, Brazil. If you need to listen to other repetition, you only have to rewind. Yes. Okay. Number six. Are you there in number six? Yes. Okay. Well, I want you to go to seven because this is the speaking part. Seven, not six. Seven. Yes. Okay. I'm put to speaking. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, what country or continents are these objects? I want you to think about it. From your shoes, your bag. Think about the things you have at home. Your mobile phone, the car, yes, this, this book, yes, okay. So, all the things you have near you, okay. Think about this for a minute, yes, and write at home, yes, okay. Okay, your shoes, where are they from? Are your shoes American, Chinese, British, your cell phone? Where is it from? Is it Spanish? Is it Spanish? Yes, okay. Is it British? Is it American? Yes, think about it at home, okay? Good. So I want you to go very quickly, yes, okay? Remember to highlight the parts of the, the car. Yes, and we go to page 28. 28. Are you there? Page 28. Yes. With the date. Yes. And you have the prices there. You have the prices there. Okay. So, do you remember how to say dollars? Yes. Dollars. Euros. Pesos. Okay. Libras. Libra, perdón. <laughs> yeah? La euro una vez. Ok. Well, dólares, euros and pesos. Libra. <laughs> yes? El camarógrafo full. Me desconcentra el camarógrafo. Ok. So we have dólares, um, pounds, yes, and pesos. Ok? Yes? Thank you. Good. Well, estaba pensando en pounds y no pensaba en libras. Ok. Well. Um, esto es televisión en vivo. Ok, bueno, well, so, um, do you remember how to ask cuánto cuesta? Yes, so, whenever we talk about prices, you have to think about how much is it, yes, y la plata chiquitita de las libras, pence, ok, one pound, six pence, ok, is it clear? Yes, so, I want you to go to exercise one, can you say these prices from... A shop in the UK? Yes, okay, and you have the pounds there. Yes, okay, is it clear? Okay, so we have dollars. Yes, we have the euros. Yes, okay. Um, and you have the dollars, the euros. Lo depende de todo lo que está en la comunidad europea. Euros, yes. Um, and then the yen, you have the yen there, que es el número 3, yes, ok, in Japan, yes, yeah? and the yuan in China, yes, ok, que estos son nuevos, que no los solemos escuchar mucho, pero bueno, la mayoría sabe yen, yeah? ok, so, um, currencies, yes, ok, so I want you to go very quickly to uh, exercise 4, It says real life shopping. Yes, yeah? so you are going to listen, be prepared, because you are going to listen to conversations in three shops. Yes, and you have to write what person buys and the price. Are you there? So there you have to be prepared to listen, yes, to uh, objects and prices. 
Be careful, okay? Track 27, Unit 2D, Conversation 1. Hello, can I help you? Yes, these bags are nice, but they're very small. Are they different size? First of all, I want you to highlight this. Yes, because this is very, because this is very important for the listening. Yes, it can help you. Yes, okay. Can I help you? I like coffee, large or small. Yes, I like a coffee, please. A large one. Yes. Is there a medium size? Because large is very big for me. Okay. So. These are the things you will need, yes? Are there different colors depending on what you are buying? Now you are ready. 27, Unit 2D, Conversation 1. Hello, can I help you? Yes, these bags are nice, but they're very small. Are there different sizes? Yes, there are. These ones are large. Right. Is there a medium size? No, only two sizes. Okay. And are there other colors? Yes, these ones are red. Oh, yes. Those are nice. How much are they? They are $19.35. Conversation 2. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like a coffee, please. Large or small? A large one, please. That's £3.50. Conversation 3. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I'd like a ball, please. A football? A tennis ball? Sorry, a football. Well, the footballs are here. Are they all black and white? Uh, no. There are also ones for different football teams. So this one is red and blue for Barcelona. Hmm. Is there a red one for Manchester United? No, there isn't. Sorry. Uh, okay, that one, please. This one? Yes, please. How much is it? It's 21 euros. Okay, ready? Yes? Did you listen to the pronunciation? Yes? Doesn't sound very British, so think about where is this person from? Okay, good. Number, uh, are you there? Number four? Yes, so red back, yes. And it's nineteen thirty-five. Yes, nineteen dollar thirty-five. Yes, okay. A large coffee, three euros point fifty. Yes, three point fifty cents. Yeah, centimos. Okay. A football is twenty-one euros. Okay, and the other is pounds. Yes, three point fifty. Yes. Three pounds and fifty pence. Yes, remember pounds and pence. Yes, okay. And in the dollar you have the cents. Yes, okay. Good. Esto clarísimo, eh? Number five. Rewind it. Play it again and listen again. And I'm going to give you the answers for exercise five. Yes, but stop. Rewind it. Listen again. And these are the answers for exercise five. Can I help you? Yes, because you have to decide if it is the customer or the shop assistant. Yes, okay. Number one, can I help you? The shop assistant. I like a coffee, please. The customer. Large or small? The shop assistant. A large one, please. The customer. Uh, these ones are large. The shop assistant. Is there a medium size? The customer. Are there other three color? Uh, are there other colors? The customer. Um, these ones are red, yes, the shop assistant, yes, okay? And then you have to take into account one 
Yes, escucharon que dijo varias veces, this one, that one. Okay, which one, I have markers, which one do you want to buy? This one, that one, those ones, this one, or those ones. Yes, remember when it is near or very far away from you. Okay, is it clear? I want this one. Yes, that one. Okay, this one. Those, those ones, those ones. Okay, the blue ones, the red ones, yes, or the green ones. So, do you notice the singular? Yes, the red one or the green ones. The red one or the green ones. Is it clear? So, this is for singular one and one for plural. And this is the one that you have to complete now after the explanation, this exercise seven. Yes, one and one. That one for singular. Those, those ones for plural. Is it clear? So, let's see if you understand. Okay, do the activity, pause the video and then listen to the answer. Number one, one. Number two, ones. Number three, one. And number four, ones. That's okay. Well done. So pay attention now. Let's go to page 29 and pay attention because we need to see this. I will explain then how you are going to write the adverbs. But first of all, we are going to do exercise two. Adjectives. Are you there? Page 19, 19, uh, 29, exercise two. Yes? Good. Do it. Okay. Which is the opposite of, um, are you there? Old, mother and new. But, okay, good. Useless. Oh, this is useless. It's not useful for me. Yes? Useful. Yes, something you need. Yes? Necessario. And useless, que no es necessario. Okay? Slow. Slow, fast small, large, and expensive, cheap. Remember to do the activities for while you are posting, uh, while you are doing the video. Yes, do the activity, pause the video, and then listen to the answers, and don't cheat. No hagan trampa, eh? Okay, exercise three. Yes, are you there? The car is old, it is an old car. Number two, these laptops are slow. They are slow last laughter. Yes? Okay, so pay attention to this when you write. Pay, pay attention to this when you write composition. It is. No se coman el sujeto, Santi. Eh, pasa por ahí, eh? Yes? It is. Estuvo mejor la última, eh? It is an old car. And it is very expensive. Yes, okay, good. So in English, first of all, the adjectives and then the noun. An old car, a beautiful woman. Yes, all right. Uh, they are slow laptops. It is a brown sofa. They are useful shelves. No vala, obviamente, cuando está el sustantivo, cuando es singular. Okay, is it clear? Bueno, and now pay attention because this is very important. Whenever you have different, yes, different adjectives, yes, you will have to pay attention and this you have to study, yes, que esté super mega archi, subrayado, porque es nuevo y necesitan aprenderse, porque ya no vamos a decir, it is, a beaut it is beautiful and old. Ahora tenemos the other, the other of adjective. So you have opinion. ¿Sí? Y deben seguir un orden cuando tenemos diferentes adjetivos, ¿ok? Opinion, size, no va a haber todo, siempre va a haber o va a haber este, este, a veces va a ser una oración larga que va a tener todo, pero vamos a dar un ejemplo. Opinion, size, age, color, nationality y por último el noun. ¿Está? Ahora nos está enfocando David esto. She's a, um, it is a useful, modern, White American desk. Is it clear? Okay. Entonces yo no puedo decir it is American 
eh, modern, white, en el orden que a mí se me dé la gana. No, it is like this. It is a, your opinion, it is a beautiful, yes, big, old, red, Chinese carpet. Is it clear? Yes. But you need to study. Entonces, en la casa van a estudiar. ¿Qué es el primero? Opinión, size, opinion, size, age, color, nationality, now. ¿Mm? Eso lo estudio de memoria. Si no lo estudio de memoria, no lo voy a poder resolver. ¿Ok? And for checking if you have understood, if you have understood this, we are going to go to exercise five very quickly. Yes, are you there? Okay. Good. Number five. It is a fast new. A ver, se pueden ayudar con el cuadrito, eh? Japanese, Japanese motorbike. Two. They are lovely red gloves. Three. There are two beautiful old Italian chairs for sale. You know? Two. Comienza. Beautiful old, que sería age. Italian, que sería nationality, y después chair. Is it clear? It's not difficult, but you need to study the order, yes? A nice, small, grey computer desk for sale. And number five, a large, modern, white house, okay? Is it clear? Okay, and in exercise six, you will have, in the Google Classroom, you will have to write an advert. A ver si me enfoca bien el camarógrafo esa parte, por favor. Yes. It's write an advert. Siguiendo el ejercicio 6. Por eso dice guía, exercise 6, página 29, page 29 from the classroom. It says write an advert in the Google Classroom. Vamos a asignar esa tarea. Pay attention here. Pay attention here. It's poner nombre del alumno al archivo. Advert. Eh, Santi punto J no sé cuánto J PDF está punto PDF está que tenga el nombre del archivo porque nosotros cuando vamos corriendo tenemos un montón y no es más fácil para archivarlos todos está entonces que tenga el nombre el archivo ¿Sí? cuando sacamos la fotito le ponemos el nombre en este caso va a ser Advert Santi Advert eh, Agustín Ver Advert Catalina Advert Está el nombre del alumno. Poner en la hoja que ustedes van a hacer, como hacen en este cuadernito, ¿yes? en la hoja que tienen acá, que escriben, tienen que poner el nombre del alumno que diga Santi y que tenga las dos fechas. ¿Sí? Las dos fechas. Por eso es que para poner último. Hoy qué fecha es? 6 del 4. Y van a tener tiempo hasta el 8 del 4. El 8 del 4 no tenemos clase, ¿no? Me van a extrañar porque no va a haber una video class porque es el día de Formosa, Happy Birthday Formosa, el Happy Birthday de Formosa, el cumpleaños. Entonces va a ser el 6 del 4 para el 8 del 4 en la hora, hasta la hora que se puede presentar. No delay homework. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Entonces tienen todo lo que resta de hoy, si quieren hacerlo a la noche... Si quieren hacerlo mañana a la mañana, a la siesta, hasta la tarde, que va a haber un horario. Generalmente pongo hasta las 19, 30, 20 horas. ¿Está? Tenemos que organizarnos porque no podemos estar todo el tiempo desorganizados. Entonces, organización para las correcciones, organización para los teachers, porque tenemos, tenemos momentos que corregimos, tenemos momentos que entregamos, tenemos momentos que pasamos esto. Entonces, tenemos que organizarnos porque cada uno tiene su vida privada también. ¿Se entiende? Dicho lo dicho, uh, this is the homework and pay attention. Here, in exercise one, you have the examples of adverts. Yes, you have the examples of adverts. Yes. Which advert has the price? Which is for a furniture? Uh, is for an old product? And which one is for something near... Uh, Casi nuevo, nearly new. Ok, do it and we check. Come on, do it. Are you there? Ok, number one, A. Number two, A. Number three, B. And number four, C. Yes, ok. Good for camping, it is a never used. Ok, 
Después dice car for sale, red, white, and blah, 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 very fast, new engine. Yes, okay, you have to call the number. Yes, okay, these are adverbs. But I will teach you what you have to take into account. Pay attention now for writing a very good adverb. Y espero que sean divinos los adverbs. Porque a mí me encanta corregir, yo me siento with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee y corrijo con mucha onda todas las cositas que me mandan. I love correcting. Y me gusta mucho más corregir si las cosas que me mandan son lindas, son atractivas, porque me da muchas más ganas de corregir, corrijo más rápido, la letra tiene que estar clara, tiene que verse bien. Ok, so pay attention. You, I have prepared... Yeah, uh, prepare some adverbs. Um, yes, okay. Are you there? There we are. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. What uh, do you have to take it, take into account when you write? Right and up. La letra. The colors. Yes. You have to choose nice colors. Miren las letras. Have a look at the handwriting. Yes. The, the, the letter. La tipografía. Sí. Elijo mayúscula, colores. Yes. A good picture. Yes. Yes. Different. La Diferente tipografía, ¿sí? Mayúscula, cambio la letra, ¿sí? En cursiva, mayúscula, a good picture, yes, ok. And it says, quality service, partes genuinas, dice. Entonces, ¿qué está haciendo? Está haciendo ese advert catchy. So, whenever you have the spectator, yes, the reader, oh, ay, me llama la atención, it calls my attention. So, your advert must call the reader's attention. For more details, contact here, blah, 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 the number. You have to give a contact number, yes, a good picture, yes, okay, tipografía, ojo. Uh, I have one more. Ok, look. Yes. También podemos expresar, eh, empezar con una pregunta. Do you think your time is important? Yes. Ok, pero tiene que ser atractiva. Always catchy. Yes. You look at your watch. Yes. You look at your watch 50 times a day. Make sure it's worth looking at it. Yes, looking at. Mm -hmm. Asegúrate de que sea valorable, que valga la pena mirarlo. Entonces, oh, ya me copó ya la idea, ¿sí? Yes, I always wear a watch. Yes, so it calls my attention. This is a nice picture. It, 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 it is an attractive watch. Yes, and con una frase, ¿qué okay, hizo? So, summarize everything. One sentence, one phrase. Summarize everything. No tiene mucho. La marca del reloj. Ta, ta, ta. Yes, okay. This is an advert. Yes. And you have to write an advert in the consigna. It says, yes, write, think of an object and write an advert for it. Okay. Entonces, ojo. En los adverbs dice, read the adverb which adjective y póngale adjetivo también. You can put different adjectives. Voy a mostrar otro advert. Yes. Welcome to perfect pizza. Yes. Which is the color that calls the attention here? Red. That is the color of the vegetable. El color de los tomates. En esta usamos el color del tomate, de la pizza, de la sauce. Ok, you have the offer, offer one and offer two, it must be clear, you must be clear, yes, ok, the contact number, yes, welcome to perfect pizza, yes, 
What calls uh, in this advert? What calls the attention? What thing does it call your attention? For example, uh, the color. Yes, the offer. Yes, and then you see, yes, the pizza and everything there. Yes, is it clear? Okay, so I want you to choose an object and I want you to write an advert. Is it clear? Yes, and you have the pages from the activity book and the only thing that you have to send me is the advert. Yes, espero un super lindo advert. Uh, happy weekend. See you next class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, second year.